So now we are coming into the final step on how to create the depreciation key. So this is the final step for creating the depreciation key relating to the our uh, uh, let's say uh, the sum of digits method. So the same steps I don't go through again and all these steps so you are already familiar by this time now. So now you go to the depreciation key. So let's say if you are in the in the training system or anything my recommendation when you are creating the depreciation key never copy the active ones you see these are all active so uh, don't try to copy the active ones because uh, there is some technical issues you will face if you copy these all active whatever here so let's say this is a one and another one is a here so these are all active ones so don't use these active ones to create the depreciation key so my recommendation is this so if you want to create a depreciation key by copying the standard my recommendation always you should use migrated let's say you use this one okay or else uh, you can use this one to do the creation so now click on here so uh, while creating you need to copy the migrated one so in this case I'm going to use uh, which is uh, any of these so let's say you can use any migrated one so just copy so I should say sum two because sum of digits method so sum of digits method so press enter so the system will say that two dependent copies are there so anyway we are going to change those so click ok so now um, you, you can click on save so now your depreciation key will be saved so now you go into the further steps here on the assignment of calculation methods so here I am not going to use uh, so in this step uh, I'm going to delete another step here which is already there for the interest calculation which I don't need so I'm just selecting my item and then delete so now again you have to click on save so what it says sum to and enter the base method so actually it says an error which is actually we can't use this base method so I am going to change my base method to the sum of digits method is 34 click OK so now if you click on save you see it's just a warning message and click OK so here I am not going to use anything because I don't need this so period controls I leave it as it is um, let's say 03 is is actually a pro rata for the month and retirement is a different so these cases here multi-level so in the case of multi-level I'm going to use my multi-level method which is sum of digits so now these are the basic steps where you should be very familiar while creating any depreciation key so this is a, a basic step must be followed and this relating to the this one is applicable only when there is a declining balance method or you have any step method so in that case you don't need to assign anything or if you want to assign any default value also still possible so now let's say you need to change this this is not our straight line depreciation this is false as other depreciation so I choose this so now I don't change anything here so others I leave it a blank then click Save so now click OK so we already save the depreciation key so now what I'm going to uh, show you how to create an asset and the next steps uh, 
like an end user point of view or a key user point of view is the next steps. So yeah, hope this is how you can create a sum of digits uh, depreciation key for calculating the depreciation. So thank you guys.